Hi, this is Darren with Philosophize Now. Today we will find out if The Untethered Soul by Michael A. Singer is worth a read. So this is one of those books where you either love it or you hate it. If you look at the reviews on this book, you'll see that some people say it's completely changed their life and they give it 5 out of 5, where others will say it's completely rubbish and give it 1 or 2 stars out of 5. Okay, so let's start with the positives. This book has many helpful suggestions and kernels of wisdom sprinkled throughout, and one can easily see how these suggestions could really benefit one's life if you implemented them. Secondly, I love the use of examples. Many of the examples really help one to better understand the concepts he's trying to portray and get a vivid image of what he's talking about. Finally, I like how he gets people to think about concepts they would not normally think about, such as his question of who am I and the resultant inquiry into this question to find a true answer that most people would not even think about. Let's look at the negatives of this book. I found this book to be unnecessarily long, especially towards the third, fourth and fifth parts of the book where he would repeat many concepts mentioned earlier and each of these chapters you would read and find no valuable information inside these chapters. Secondly, I found this book a bit disorganized found him talking about parts of a concept he had not fully explained yet before he actually explained that concept. And finally, I found he talked about one or two concepts too vaguely and it left me wanting more information on how to practically apply these concepts or what these concepts really meant. One example would be his mention of keeping the heart open. I do still not understand after reading the whole book on how or what he means by this statement. So now it comes to the big question. Would I recommend reading this book? Unfortunately, I have to say no. Even though it's got many good concepts in this book, most of it can be summarized into just a few paragraphs instead of a whole book. So I would really recommend rather just reading a summary or watching a summary. Click here if you'd like to see my summary on this book. And thanks for watching. If you like this content, please subscribe to see more content like this.